Hello, everyone. My name is Ethan Zimmerman, and I'm here with my good friend and fellow mentor from Nexus, Luke Ratke. Say hello, Luke. Hello, everybody. My name is Luke Ratke, and I'm here with Ethan, and we're excited to talk to you today about Nexus. Yes. Um, Luke and I had a wonderful time at Nexus, but first, you know, we want to thank uh, Lutheran Corps for helping to sponsor Nexus. It was, um, Nexus was truly a blessing to myself and to all of the participants that showed up and the other mentors, and without Lutheran Corps' help, it would not have been possible. So we want to thank them wholeheartedly for doing that. So, you may be wondering, well, wondering, well, Lutheran Corps funded Nexus, what is it? So, Luke, what would you say that Nexus is? So, Ethan, so Nexus is, is a week-long uh, theology camp at Grandview University in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, high school participants from all over the country come, and they get to interact with us mentors who get to help lead small groups. And basically, they just get to learn from the professors and pastors that are there, um, all different types of uh, topics having to do with the Bible and Christianity and how to live their lives as Christians. Um, they also get to form relationships with other high schoolers. Um, oh, oh, yes, the relationships are one of the highlights of Nexus, I would say. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. The relationships is what makes it, um, well, that's my favorite part of it for sure. Oh, yeah, that is, that's uh, definitely one of my uh probably the number one thing I liked about Nexus was the, um, I don't know, to like one or two o'clock in the morning discussions about theology with the other mentors to just uh, goofing around with the, our participants when we had free time and activities. Like we went to the, um, for an afternoon adventure, we went to the Blank Park Zoo in Des Moines, Iowa. That was a lot of fun. Um, and so and the so, nice... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And so the nice part about the relationships at Nexus is that the program of Nexus gives a structure for these relationships to happen through and around. For example, there's a New Testament uh, theology class and an Old Testament theology class, and there's um, all different types of games and activities, morning worship and evening worship for just all of these high schoolers and college mentors and the professors and pastors just to talk and meet with each other. Oh yeah, we get to talk during the classes and small group discussions and over lunch and dinner. And it's a beautiful uh, thing to just be able to discuss the faith, faith openly with people similar in age. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think that, you know, with going off of the relationships about my favorite thing about Nexus is, you know, we get to interact and form these relationships in these classes and small groups discussions that we have but then these relationships are um, built upon by the discussion of theology and faith and that doesn't leave you you're not you don't walk away from that without being changed in one way or another and i think you know nexus really impacted me in that way just to be able to know that there are other young folk um, like myself, both mentors and even younger in high school, that uh, still keep the faith. Yeah, it, it's definitely a life-changing event to uh, be at and work for. Um, it's just wonderful to see how the high schoolers um, through the week get more and more excited about Jesus and being in this Christian community that just transforms them and changes them. Um, it's just wonderful to, by the end of the week, to see these high schoolers thinking about their future and, and what it truly means to be a Christian. Oh, yeah. The the future. You know, that's a, uh, a thing that's talked about and it's of highlighted importance at Nexus. You know, we talk, at Nexus, we talk a lot about uh, our vocation or what our calling is from God. And, you know, for myself and for you, Luke, you know, we both feel called to be pastors. We want to go to the NALS for seminary, um, but that's not always the case for everyone that goes to Nexus. Now, I think we might be a little biased, be like, yeah, if you, you want to be a pastor, go for it. We're, we're all hyping you up, talking about the different seminaries we looked at and the different cool things that can you can do there and learn. But, um, you know, at Nexus, 
if your calling is to lead youth group at your church and your day job is like you're an accountant, you know, you can do God's will and work in the office and at church leading youth group, or, you know, maybe you want to be a missionary, maybe you be a pastor, who knows, but it's finding what your vocation is, regardless of what it is, and acting on it for what God's will is in your life. Yeah, definitely. And to build off of that, uh, Nexus's motto is where God's call meets your life. And mm -hmm. so that's just beautiful because being a Christian, it's it, at Nexus, it's highlighted. It's not about, you know, you're a Christian, you're a Christian or you're a normal person. No, as a Christian, that just involves your whole life and just develops it into fully what you should be through Christ. Yeah, and it's that's the um, it's really focused in on that. You don't just do church stuff on Sunday mornings. You live out your faith every day wherever you go. Um, and yeah, that's, and being involved with other you know young folk in the faith for a week really helps form that image of what a faith life every day looks like. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, definitely, Ethan. It's, it's that feeling of being able to realize that Christianity is for every moment in life, not just for like when we're at church or when we're out evangelizing or reading our Bibles or praying. No, God wants to be in that relationship with us every second. And so that's what's so truly cool about Nexus, getting to um, see high schoolers, um, grow in that area oh yeah and ourselves and, and ourselves, and our, yeah ourselves the high schoolers you know the you know, the adult um pastors and professors that are there too to see them you know they as either teaching us but then you know sometimes they'll have learning moments coming from us to them too and it's just awesome to see yeah truly and, a community a, a, an awesome, awesome community of Christian fellowship. Um, we were, you know, at Nexus, we had lots of laughs. Um, <laughs> we had, there were moments where we cried together. We were, we weeped with those who were weeping. We rejoiced with those who rejoiced. And, you know, it, we truly lived life together. It was an awesome, I think for myself, looking to the future, of what you know, I want to do as a pastor and help disciple people, make genuine disciples of Jesus. Like that paints a really awesome picture of what discipleship looks like. Yeah. So, Ethan, something I'm curious to uh, learn about because we've been talking about Nexus here. What was your favorite part about Nexus this summer? Oh, my favorite part. Um, that's that's tough because there I had a lot of favorite parts, <laughs> but I really loved. Um, the, the late night, oh, okay, I have two two favorite parts because as mentors, we came a week early to train and get to know each other before the part, high school participants came. And so I really loved when I was with the mentors, those late night theology discussions because we'd be up for hours after the high schoolers uh, go to, went to bed and we just talked about faith and what it means for us and what it means for the world and culture overall. Um, but when I when we were with participants, I really, really loved just getting into small group and hearing how faith, the faith of these high schoolers was before they came to Nexus and the, the ideas and thoughts that were churning in their mind during and to see what they had planned on doing with this, this new found knowledge after they left. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's well, awesome. What would you say would be your favorite part, Luke? Oh, I'll have to build off of what you said. I just, just talking with all of the participants there was just amazing. Like, like in the little moments when you're, you know, on a bus ride or walking to your next class or at one of the meals, just talking and learning about their lives and just what they're going through. And then and then learning kind of where they are in their faith journey, just through the different things they say, even if it's not, you know, um, them directly giving their testimony about their walk with Jesus. But if it's simply them just answering a question or talking, it's just amazing to see their faith and just 
um, to see their relationship with Jesus. It was just wonderful for me to get to see that. Yeah, and that's it's so encouraging because, um, you know, for me growing up, I wasn't around a whole lot of other youth, especially like in the Lutheran Church. I visited a friend's youth group a couple times, but he went to a non-denominational church, so it, so it wasn't really the same. It was a huge mega church, so to speak, so there were like 50 kids in the youth group, so it wasn't very um, super personal. But, you know, that's just just to see that the faith of other people my age encourages me that I'm not just a weirdo who <laughs> just believes in Jesus. You know, I, it's this is something real, and it's living and alive, and it's not going to stop. Yeah, exactly. So, Luke, if you say you're in high school, or maybe you're, you know someone who is in high school, like a parent or a pastor, why why should someone go to Nexus as a participant? So that's a great question, Ethan. And I think so for myself, when I was in high so when I was in high school, I got the chance to go as a participant to Nexus. And then now I've been able to also be a uh, work at Nexus and be a mentor. And it going for myself, going to Nexus, it was just it just changed my life. Getting to kind of learn with and be with people who are interested in Christian ministry and wanting to live a Christian life and wanting to put that at the focus of their lives and not just be some fringe hobby or activity in their life, but the thing that their life is built around, built around the cross and around Christ, is just truly amazing. It, it, it's transformative. Um, and just getting to make these relationships with people that you might keep your entire life. And so I just, I think it's a wonderful program to go to. Um, you'll learn a lot, you'll make a lot of friends, and you'll be changed. Oh, yeah. The, the, the friends part, Luke, I think this is year three. We've known each other for three years now, and it's yeah. only because of Nexus. You live in Oklahoma. I live in Ohio. If it hadn't been for Nexus, we would have ab we would have never met each other. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, exactly. Mm -hmm. And just to know that there's there's someone else out there just as passionate um, about the cross, about what Jesus did for us, saved us from sin, death, and the devil. It's just to relate to that is just beautiful. And so, you know, I would say that. If you know someone or you are someone that is looking for this community to reach out and see what other people your age about what they do with their faith on a day-to-day -day basis and, and want to meet other people that want to learn more, Nexus is the prime spot, the prime program to do that in because you know it's not just another Bible or church camp where you 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 just go swimming for eight hours of the day and have do a little Bible study in the morning, little sing a little uh, Bible camp songs with an acoustic guitar around a fire with marshmallows in the evening. It's, it is, you know, all day, every day, just Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you all for watching this video luke and i have been forever changed by nexus and we want to let other people know of the benefit it can have in someone's a young person's faith life and so it would be mean a lot to us if you would prayerfully consider either coming to nexus telling someone of you know a high schooler about nexus um praying for the program as a whole that it would continue to um, uplift young people in their faith so they may carry the cross of Jesus onward um, and, you know, get maybe su supporting and getting involved yourself. So I, Luke, um, I, do you want to close this out in prayer? I can. It's up to you, bud. Sure. How about, how about we both um, pray out? All right. I'll start if you can end us. All right. Yeah. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise and thank your holy name for Nexus, Lord. You have given the church a great gift in this program for the uplifting of young people in the faith, 
Lord Proverbs says that if a young child is set, given the faith at his young age, in his old age, he will not depart from it, Lord. And I pray that this will be, this faith will be deepened and imparted to all who come, Lord. Yeah, dear Jesus, just be with all of the Christians out there that are spe high schoolers specifically. Um, bless them and keep them and just help them to think about com coming to Nexus. I uh, pray for the future of Nexus. Help it to be a strong program that leads high schoolers ever into a stronger relationship with you. And I just pray for your church as a whole. Um, strengthen us and keep us united. Amen. Amen. Awesome. 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 Well, everybody, we appreciate you listening in. I am Ethan Zimmerman. This is my friend Luke Gratke. Goodbye and God bless.